Hello all, welcome to, I guess this is like part two of my studio vlog thing, makeover, I don't know, is it a makeover? I don't know. But I feel like this one's gonna be the fun one. I'm doing a lot more of like the decor -y stuff. The first thing I wanna do though is figure out the desk situation. So you guys know we did these last time. Um, there's like the desk that like sit on top of it. It's like hard to explain, let me show you. Okay, so there's like this desk. It has two legs on this side. This side sits on top of the cabinets. Um, also this rug. Got this rug from Urban Outfitters, okay. This is gonna be so sick in here, but we'll get to that. Um, also there's a neon sign under here. Fun stuff today. There's actually two of these desks. One's in the basement, so we're gonna have to go take that out. I think the legs aren't attached to that one. But we're trying to turn this into an actual, like, workable studio space. So let's get this desk and bring it in. Now, because I know someone somewhere is gonna ask, this desk is actually from Ikea. And it's, I think it was supposed to be part of like a conference room table. Um, but it's like, I don't think they sell it anymore. It's part of the like, better or you know better hurry because it's going out of stock stuff um but you might be able to find it like on facebook marketplace okay so this is like the desk situation obviously like i said there's going to be another desk on this side um thinking like a packing area and sort of like maybe for printing labels or something i don't know two different work areas but one chair so that i can kind of like slide between them kind of loved <laughs> it without the desk but need the desk you know okay this is desk number two it has a keyboard tray on it i wish this was on the other one keyboard tray i don't even know if i really need the keyboard tray but Getting ready for this new store meant I needed some storage to house merchandise. So I feel like we're still in a pandemic because nothing is available at Ikea, but I found this uh, little shelf on Facebook Marketplace. It seems to be like the original, whatever the shelf is called, hinge shelf. Um, I know that because it's very different from the new pieces. Regardless, whatever, I paid for this thing, it's okay, it's a little, <laughs> is a little wonky but um all good once it's in place we made a little like block for the front leg to sort of hold it up in the middle there a little bit um but yeah all is good i just ikea everything always out of stock come on i also did get some extra shelves for it but that's how i know that they're not really the same as um these ones okay so this is the rug i've been eyeing at urban outfitters for so long finally took the plunge um they only had this size in stock so it doesn't feel like this whole space as i might have liked it to but i also think that this side over here that you can't see is going to be where i like shoot the photos for the store so it's probably best not to have the rug go over there to be frank so this is the rug let me just take the tag off I'll link it below if you guys are interested. It feels pretty great. Like this is also an Urban Outfitters rug that Hotch is laying on, which feels like a blanket. This feels better than that. I feel like scissors would be good. I also need a rug pad. Hold, please. Okay, back. I don't know what size these rug pads are. I think one's a four by six and one's a five by seven, but I brought both of them. So there's two ways I can do this rug first way is like this and I was gonna put this um, shelf on top of it a little bit and then option number two was to do it I actually really hate it this way okay so I want to put a light fixture here but I don't know how low to hang it essentially do you guys know how many times my dogs have knocked my camera over yeah, this camera lens is hanging on by a thread. I had to get a neon sign for the store. I feel like it's just a really great way 
to commemorate it. And so I might as well tell you what the store is called. Um, it's called Tasha Leland Co. And we played around with like a lot of different names, like calling it just Leland, like my middle name. Um, uh, calling it like Leland Studios because this is a studio, this is whatever we always called it. Um, but overall, like, I want this store to literally be like a reflection of things that I love. And so I just thought Tasha Leland Co. was like the coolest and simplest way to just say it, you know what I mean? So the store won't always have the same things and it'll have like new things like I really want it to be the place that you guys go to get like oversized tees that are like cool tees, not just like, you know, bands you don't listen to, you know what I mean? That was a dig at <laughs> Urban Outfitters, not actual bands. Like I still love buying an oversized band tee. But yeah, so so this neon sign is from Yellow Pop. It is where my other neon sign is from as well. Yellow Pop was so kind and they graciously gifted me a neon sign for my store. I love you guys, thank you so much. Um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about them because they're so cool. You can make your own custom neon sign. So the first thing that you do is pick your font and the fonts are top tier. I mean, they're all so good. Um, you have a lot of ones to choose from a lot of like really beautifully like kind of handwritten fonts Then you pick your color and then you pick if you want your tube to be white or color matching to the color it turns um, I just picked white so when it's off it'll be white pick your size pick your backing So hollow out cut to shape full board is like a full plexi board kind of thing and done and it ships to your house. Definitely check out Yellow Pop if you are interested in getting your own neon sign for your house. I swear it is like my favorite piece of home decor. So I got it to say, you will probably already know. Hang on, upside down. My name. So I just got to say Tasha Leland. I think it's perfect for the studio and I got it in a different color this time because last time I got it in pink and I kind of wanted it to just be a little bit more neutral so that it like works in a bunch of spaces if I end up putting it in another space somewhere down the road. So I want to hang it on this wall like by the desk because there's nothing on that wall. Um, so it comes with the hanging situation like for, for how you want to mount it. Also comes with this dimmer touch switch. Look at this little, oh, this little cutie. Your walls will thank you and thank you from us too. So this is um, the instructions for hanging it up, but I've already done that. So let's do this, shall we? That's a good height, I think. Maybe just look down a tad. Now I need you to like go kneel down almost because now I need to see if it's center. And I I'm bossy. I mean, I don't know, it looks pretty good to me. It doesn't look good to the camera. You guys have to be centered a little bit. Like, I don't know. <laughs> looks good to me. I think the, the, the N is a little high, so if you could just slightly, okay. No, it looked better before. Get a shot of Miles. <laughs> He's a studio dog. They're so cute. The other dogs don't really like to be in here because they can't see out. But you're like okay with it, bubs. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, I have these cabinet bowls that are from my kitchen. And I'm thinking about putting them on this because even though these are pushed to shut, you'll notice sometimes they just don't. See this one? Anyways, sometimes they just don't. So I'm thinking that would look kind of nice. Do you know? Okay. Time to screw them into place. What do you think? I think she looks great look how cute she's a vibe I think we need some plants here 
I think. But we have the two little desk areas, easy to swivel between them. We've got our storage, we've got our handles, fans on above me. We've got the light. We're getting there. My next video is going to be a behind the scenes video where you're gonna see the merchandise for the first time. And I'm so excited to share that. So keep an eye out on here and keep an eye out on Instagram. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for you guys to come along this journey with me. Okay, you guys. Well, stay tuned for the next video. You will kind of see everything that's like launching in the store. If you like, you know, want a little bit of no, the store will be launching on September 9th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, you can follow the Instagram if you'd like to like be the first to see like what's what, but it's Tasha Lee Lynn Co on Instagram. There's nothing on there right now, but it's like coming. So this video is like the first like, okay, releasing this video first. Then there's videos and teasers and stuff to come. So I'm just, I'm really excited for this. Um, I don't know like what it's gonna become. It's my way to finally do like a piece of Tasha Lila merch. So I'm very excited about that, but there's obviously other things in it as well. So yes, September 9th, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Instagram is at Tasha Lila Co. Okay, cool. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.